Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're here in March and it's spring. Spring is finally here. We got some great weather in the 70s and 80s happening this week and uh, I'm excited to do some fishing. I'm actually home for a little bit. So uh, getting out on the water, enjoying these lakes at the very best time of year to enjoy them. You know, I, I would say overall year after year, April is probably the safest bet for great fishing, but March is right there and uh, you know, we. We had some rain earlier this winter, but it hasn't carried over into the spring right here. So we uh, we got a great month ahead, early March right now, and uh, we got a great fishing report for you guys. So before we go any further, if you guys haven't subscribed, please please do so. Um, and this video is brought to you by Hatch Toyota in Cholo, Arizona. If you're in the market for a vehicle, especially a Tundra or a truck, give those guys a look. They've got great inventory, great prices, and they are great people. Um, so hey, let's start uh, Let's start by talking about the fishing. We'll run through all the different lakes. Um, you know, I've been doing a little bit of fishing at Saguaro recently, and uh, it's been a little hit or miss still. Some big fish being caught, as there always are out there. Numbers haven't really taken off yet. I did notice a little bit of an algae bloom um, on certain parts of the lake, and uh, I definitely found where that algae was at, I had a little bit less success. But uh, it's, it's definitely worth going out there if you're looking for a big fish. But again, expect lower numbers. And uh, you know, I've, I've had some buddies go out there and, and completely blank, and then some go out there and catch catch a few real big ones. Um, I've been able to go out and catch a handful of big ones, or a handful of good, decent ones every time. Uh, I've been recently, but um, not great yet. Hopefully it busts open soon. The water's still got a lot of color to it. If you're looking to sight fish, it's not gonna happen out there right now. Um, water temps are still in the, you know, starting in the mornings in the upper 50s and they'll touch 60 by the end of the day, get up into the low 60s by the end of the day. But um, there might be a big wave or a, a, a wave of bed fish up there, but you're not gonna see them in a lot of the lake just due to the color of the water. Um, if you are looking to uh, get out and catch more numbers, the usual numbers lakes are playing. Uh, Roosevelt, Bartlett. Bartlett is, they've released a bunch of water out of Horseshoe and Bartlett came up a bunch this week. It's kind of shaking things up a little bit. I don't think it's gonna be the easiest thing in the world to go out there and catch fish um, like right away. But again, it'll it'll bounce back quick. And I would say, you know, in a week or two, fishing's gonna be great out there. Again, um, you know, it's just the usual stuff this time of year you're fishing. You know, the fish have made a big push shallow. Sure, there's still plenty of deep fish, but the fish are either hard pre-spawn or early spawn. We had a full moon last week and it brought some fish up. We got a little wave of bed fish on a lot of the lakes and, uh, you know, I'm sure Bartlett's no different. So up shallow, spinner baits, crank baits, jerk baits, stuff like that. Maybe if it's a little bit dirtier, vibrating jig. And then of course, if you want to slow down, or if you have the conditions where you need to slow down, a jig, a Texas rig, a drop shot, those are all going to be good players. Um, I was up at Roosevelt the other day, fishing was really good up there for numbers. We caught quite a few fish and uh, I was surprised at how many fish were shallow. There are cer certainly some still uh, some fish in that mid depth, but a lot of fish made a push shallow. The water's really clear. It's about as clear as I've ever seen it out there this time of year. You can see down a good 10 feet in most of the lake. It's running in clear through the salt. Um, so I guess that's, you know, one of those things that the, you know, the water during storms and, and, and rainstorms and stuff like that, it runs dirty because it's running so fast, but the water's been trickling in for a long time through the salt, and typically when it trickles, it gets filtered out and comes in clear, and that's what's happening right now. So uh, it's clear, you can get out. I just, I uh, got a video, I'm not sure if I'm gonna post it before or after this report, but um, you'll see in the video, we caught them really good on soft and hard jerk baits. Um, Berkeley Power Jerk Shad right here. Um, we uh, caught some on a Stunna, caught a couple on a Wacky Rig, and we even caught a couple on bed. So um, the Wacky Rig is a player in the spring always. I really like it. Once you get a good wave of bed fish and then start seeing post-spawn fish, there's no better way than a five inch Berkeley General on a wacky rig, there's no better way to catch fish in general and big fish too. You'll catch some real big ones doing that. So um, it's just about time to start getting ready for that. If you don't have your spinning rod with a wacky rig tied on in your boat, tie it on. You might not use it your next trip, but 
by the end of March, you better be throwing that thing. It uh, is a great way to catch them. And if you're after bigger fish, you know, the uh, call shad, it's a, it's a great time pre-spawn spawn. I love throwing these shallow running swim baits, a little bit bigger swim baits in the spring. When you do get a lot of fish up shallow, if you're trying to get that bigger bite, it can really pay off this time of year to go to a bigger bait. Again, because there are so many fish, so you're trying to do anything you can to up the odds of that big fish making that selection and trying to eat it. Right now, there's a lot of fish that are eating um, you know, bigger bait, and uh, bigger fish are looking for bigger bait, and that coal shed's a great way to do it. It's not like a big, giant, daunting swim bait that you need a special setup for. I typically just throw it on like a 7.6 medium heavy or heavy action rod with like 17 pound line and uh, cast it around shallow targets, fish it kind of a, a medium speed retrieve, and uh, hang on, you can catch some big ones doing that right now. Lake Pleasant's been good too. Um, I haven't been out there myself, but I've had some really good reports. You know, same thing, little wave of bed fish, a lot of pre-spawn fish. Drop shot's gonna be a killer there. Little swim baits are really good. Um, Oh yeah, the wacky rig is going to start playing big time again soon. And this, the cool thing about Pleasant this time of year is you don't have to be in like the northern bays. A lot of times that's where the action goes down up north. But the spawn, all the fish around the lake all move up into the bays and coves. So um, you can certainly still catch good ones up north, but all the main lake coves and pockets and creeks, they... The fish just show up into those places this time of year. So, um, you know, if you don't have a boat that you want to run all the way across the lake in, you can find, just get shallow, get in a pocket or cove, and uh, start throwing some type of soft plastic around, and you'll catch fish on Lake Pleasant right now. One of the best times of year to be out there. Um, it's, it's, just like I said, it's just a good time to be out on the water fishing. Apache had been really, really tough all winter long. Uh, there was recently a TBF tournament up there, and the guys caught them better. So um, Apache is worth hitting. You know, the fish are really healthy out there right now. You're not going to find any smallies, but um, the the big largemouth, you got a great chance to catch some really chunky largemouth. So if you like that lake, if you want to change your pace, run up there, give it a look. Uh, it'd be a good time to do that as well. And, uh, yeah, good luck with your fishing, guys. Um, Got the uh, Eric Bubenheim won the uh, the uh, contest for the baits last month, so uh, I got the baits on the way to him. Um, again, if you guys, I'm going to give these guys away too. So drop a comment below, and uh, you'll get this call shad. You'll get the uh, soft jerk baits, and then you'll get the generals if you're picked. I'm going to pick one person randomly out of uh, out of the um, anyone that comments below. So drop me a line. Let me know how the bite's been for you. Where are you going fishing this month? And uh, we'll see you guys soon. Thank you much.